final six rounds. We've had one man dominate the entire series, and that is big Benny Carberry. He's had two wins and a second place there. He'll be looking for a perfect three from three. Sam Norton from Bernie in Tasmania. Good to see him. He's toiled away over the last couple of seasons, and he's getting the results. And then your man, Jack, J-Mo Porter, sits in third place. He'll be looking to jump up the point score. There'll be plenty of guys, Josh, looking to have a good performance out here today and get themselves right up the point score or even get their first win of the Ocean 6 Series. It may be round six, but there's still a chance of putting themselves on the winner's board. 100%. Good to see Reese Baker, former Australian double ski and ski relay champion from Trig Island in WA, make the trip over. The Fox from Victoria, Russell Fox is in there as well. So they've come from all over the country. Sam Norton from Tasmania as well. And then some of the favourites, Mitchell Trim, the Walker Boys and Hayden White. The best looking man in surf life saving, Jet Kenny. The famous name of surf life saving, Jet Kenny. He's on the line. There's a couple of walkers there. The big fella, Russell Fox from Half Moon Bay. Watch for him. He's one of the Ocean Six favourite. They're on and away. And have a look at the paddles fly. Two have gone off. Three have gone off. Oh, maybe Benny Carberry's gone off at the back there. So a shocking start for Benny Carberry. Maybe that swim's hurt him. And have a look at Hayden White explode on the right-hand side. Big fella is absolutely flying there. He's come off the back of a less than impressive Ironman race and he's leading the ski final. Well, Ben Carberry, the series champion, can't be beaten, but he missed the start. He knew it had, he, he knew he had it wrapped up. So he's given everyone else a chance. And former training partner, oh, former really club Barrett mate, Point. really Barrett Point, Hayden White has decided to take the race by the scruff of the neck. Oh, hasn't he ever? He has flown out. Jimmy Walker's trying to hang on there. He's leading, he's leading as he heads out. The rest of the field, Russell Fox on the far left-hand side, just ahead of Jet Kenny and Mitchell Tripp trying to get in on this one. Hayden White is leading so far. Russell Fox goes up past him. I think Russell Fox has gone to the lead. We haven't seen the Half Moon Bay man get the job done yet in the, in the Ocean 6 series, but can today be his day? There have been big supporters down at Half Moon Bay. They travelled every round from Victoria and we want to know what the Fox says is if he crosses the line. Unbelievable start from him out in front. Hayden White in second place. No, he's drifted. Jet Kenny's in second place now. White's back in fourth or fifth. Mitchell Trim's there as well. So all the big guns are there at the front end of this ski final. Well, they say when you're in Australia, you're never without. There is always a Fox within a kilometre of you. And at this stage, it's Russell Fox who's out in the lead, setting the pace. He's set this one up from the very beginning. Plenty of speed from the man from Half Moon Bay. He's got a little daughter back down there with his wife and he makes sure he's setting this race up Should early. be at home cheering Dad on. Will the Fox get the absolute upset? He looks like he's hurting. Hayden White is gone. Hayden White is absolutely shot. He's out of this one. Je um, a little bit further back, Jet Kenny's doing his best as well. Reese Baker from Trig Island. He's in the green, white and red cap paddling the white ski there. Is that James Lacey in the mix as well? So what about this? Here comes the waves out the back. They're going to get this one. Can the Fox hold on? He's the crowd favourite. There's waves on out the back. One's going to go down it. Jet Kenny might get down one as well. Uh, Baker goes to the right. Kenny goes to the left. They're crossing all over the ocean. Walker's in the middle as well. Walker's on in the middle. But, oh, the Fox, he gets a little runner. Will it turn into a wave? There's a set on out the back. Lacey throws the leg over. He goes, too much is too much for me. Calls it a day. The Fox is trying to hold on. Jet Kenny's coming for him. The model and the Fox, they're going stroke for stroke. The Fox knows He's almost got it. He almost saw a smile from him there. He's got to get to the beach. Russell Fox puts the power down. He gets a runner. He gets the biggest win of his career so far. Russell Fox from Half Moon Bay in Victoria is your round six ski race winner, and they'll party at the bay tonight. Well, they certainly will. They won the men's ski relay as well, so it's been a great weekend when it comes to ski paddling for Half Moon Bay, and the race for third, Josh, was very close. Oh, it almost kills our cameraman on the way as well. Big Jake. Reese was charging across from Newport there. He was in for the minor medals and what about that one? An absolute crowd favourite and Russell Fox got the job done. Well, the man from Half Moon Bay gets there ahead of Jack Kenny and Jake Reese from Newport. That's a great paddle for one of the younger competitors in the field. He'll be a force in the next couple of years. Michael Georgiaris Jr. finishes inside the top 10. Carberry was in 12. White and Kill Murray rounded out the field. Good race. Uh, I don't know. Got, kind of got a good start and then just try to hang on. Mate, try to hang on there. Had a great win yesterday in the ski relay as well. The half mooners from down in Victoria. One that's great for the sport, but they must be doing some really good things in ski paddling down there in Victoria. Yeah. 
you know, this ski relay, we've been so close for, I say, I reckon probably three years now. And just, you know, luck hasn't gone our way, but yesterday, awesome to get the win, so. A great job by the boys from Half Moon Bay, but Ben Carberry still has the title. He had it locked in before round six. Jet Kenny jumps up, the point score to finish in second. Sam Norton, the Tasmanian, finishes in third. Wiseman, Fitzsimmons, White, Chapman, Colin, Shedder, McIntyre, and Callan all inside the top 16, and they'll all be battling it out 